Yo, welcome back to In Our Bubble with your hosts, Oscar and David. David and Oscar, however your mod likes it. We'll have a guest on. We're going to let them present themselves. But we're going to tell you guys a little bit about him. So today we have my roommate, Kevin Mayo, who is from Dublin, Ireland, and also goes to North Park. And yeah. is on the football team. So today we're going to do like an interview with Kevin and ask him a little bit about... What it's like living in Ireland. Yeah. Mm-hmm. First of all, boys, thanks for having me. Means a lot, obviously. Support. Always watch. Always listen to your podcasts. Nothing but bangers. Always hearing good bangers, man. Good, good bangers, man. <laughs> well, now I see that notification, man. Whatever I'm doing, man. I'm telling you, I'm listening. Going straight away, man. Get my feel on. I'm ready to listen, man. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Much support, much, much support. Of course, yeah, do that, like Kevin. Man. Support showing, your man. boys. True. Hey, we out here giving y'all of content. That's true. He was literally saying, like, a couple of days ago, he was like, "Damn, my phone is dry. The only thing I'm looking forward to is seeing a notification." Yeah, man. From I, in our bubble, I barely talk to people. The only thing I, I do is just go on YouTube, man. When I see in our bubble, man, the notification on my fucking Apple Podcast, I'm like, "Yeah, let's go. There's gonna be a banger, man." <laughs> and you play let's go what position you play uh obviously i started off as a strong safety now i since when defensive, i came here right. I of course of band. course is that not like yeah, position great. for more <laughs> top players or is that tight end i'm not sure oh tight end for more okay, yeah, tight end. okay yeah, tight end. obviously yeah. the defensive line you can be tall as well but i feel like it's most buffered like, like obviously you gotta like be fast, be explosive, be strong. You know yourself, be powerful. Mm, mm-hmm. That makes sense. Yeah, okay. I that. mean, I know that you be carrying that yeah. team, so we want to hear a little. <laughs> <Water>. Bro, <what>? Man, <laughs> have them to fucking let me play in the clown, man. <laughs> don't listen that. Don't listen that clown, man. Fella goes on as if he knows sports, man. It's time to get on the field. Get head chopped <laughs> off, man, into bits, man. Oh, did you hear that, bro? Bro, bro <laughs> when you when you see David, what kind of position does he look? Can you fit into? Yeah, David, when man. You look, he fits into okay, a long okay. back line, man. Look. All that big boy where he's pulling on, man. Definitely <laughs> hey, long back, man. He had some loose scissors hanging around. <laughs> Yeah, some six thousand calories a day. Man. Yeah, man, oh, awesome. Man. man, I feel. Man, I honestly, I'm yeah, yeah, supposed yeah. to be interviewing about Kevin. Man. I'm we talking. Nah, we got some questions. Go ahead, man. Let's go. <laughs> Let's bring this back to the actual person we're interviewing. So, Kevin, tell us a little bit about Ireland and growing up. Oh man, Ireland, man. Ireland, Ireland, Ireland. Obviously, that's my country, hey, home shout. country. Obviously, man. I stand by Ireland, man. You know what I mean? I shout stand out. by Ireland. Shout out Dublin. Shout out to Dublin, man. Obviously, shout out to Dublin 24. Obviously, that's my Dublin 24. That's my the post-call. building. Dublin 24 only. Don't play. Obviously, I stand by Ireland. I stand by Dublin 24. Obviously, that's my home. That's who I am, the first, man. Obviously, I was born in Germany, but obviously moved to Ireland when I was one. And obviously... So Ed, Dublin Rock and Kobe numbers. Of course, man. Yeah. Exactly. Obviously been living there for my whole life. Obviously, everyone loves Ireland. Do you know what I mean? We obviously, especially coming here. Do you know? Oh, you're Irish. Oh, no way. Say this, say that, man. It's honestly insane, man. Hey, you remember um, going to Minnesota for yeah. uh, the break? You remember how I was yeah. saying we saw the parade? It was like yeah, everybody in their mom is Irish. Yeah. That's probably why I felt at home. <laughs> oh, man, it's insane, man. Everyone was Literally. like, oh, I got some Irish in me. Yeah, yeah bro. I'm telling you, man, when I came to Chicago, they're like, oh, no way. I got some Irish in me. My great-great-grandfather's from Donegal. My great-great-grandfather's from Cars. Oh, they stop saying, oh, pop in the morning, yeah. Like, all that rubbish stuff, man. I'm telling you, we don't freaking say that, first of all. We don't say top of the morning. That's some yeah, English. Yeah. I know that's in England to say you that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bro. Yeah, man. Down I mean, I, like, I know, especially in North Park, I know so I know Cardinals, but I know some people that we know that they're like, yeah, they're great, 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 great. Thomas Jefferson, 
<laughs> Charleston, Virginia. I was Irish, you know. So. <laughs> Is Irish man, yeah. You may have some Irish relatives, but you weren't born in Ireland, man. So therefore, you're not Irish. Like, no man, on um, yeah. Say how it is. Bossy, shout out to them both. It is whatever. Wait, should we talk about how we met, Kevin? Uh, this, this would be a funny. This. All right, listen, yeah. So I oh, remember on the, there was a Facebook uh, group page, yeah, for the incoming North Parkers, right? And obviously, I put my. We had to introduce ourselves, mm-hmm. and I to, I see we wrote like a paragraph. I'm just posting a few pictures, right? And obviously, I think, I think it was I think I added you on Snapchat. Or you yeah, added yeah. me on Snapchat. I added. You obviously, added I wanted to get to know people, right? And we, we, me and David, had a bit of a conversation, right? Then this fella wouldn't respond back to me just because I'm an old fella. He's like, I'm not talking to this old fella. I'm like, what the flip, man? I just wanted to become friends, but then again. uh Oh, bro! Then a few days later, we all we were all on, on a Snapchat call, a Facetime no, call, a Zoom. on a Zoom call. Yeah, because yeah. we all wanted to get to know each other. And then it was the flipping last. It was the last last three couple, pe- weeks. couple of weeks? Yeah, last three people was myself, David, and obviously this girl that was supposed to come to North Park. Her name is JJ. Shout out to JJ. And since then, me and David just been best friends since then, man. Obviously, two years and staying going strong. Yeah. But for Oscar, man. Obviously, I met Oscar at the dining hall, but before that, I've always met, like, I've always seen yeah. Oscar, but we've never talked. But then again, obviously, someone I know, I may introduce myself to Oscar. Then since then, me and Oscar just clicked like that, man. I'm telling you, Oscar's the guy, man. I was like, Why? Oscar's from Cameroon. I was like, yeah, oh, I'm, Ar- I'm from Ireland, but obviously, my or- origin's Congolese. Then since then, man, me and Oscar just clicked like that. Just like Oscar clicking. said, that's my Oga. Um, uh, that, man, since then. Now I got that. Yeah. <laughs> I got that kata get out. Wait, Oscar, didn't we meet walking to the gas station? Who? The, Kevin. Didn't we meet walking to the No, me and you. Me walking to the gas when? station? Yeah, uh, yeah, like Olivia's. Yeah, you Weren't you walking to oh, Olivia? But, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, we already saw each other in the hallways, but I think that was the first time we like, said yeah. the word. Yeah, it we was, actually, it was like, you. Uh, that was like, yeah. Yeah. And then I wrote in my notebook. Tall, tall black fellow. <laughs> in my notebook, I wrote, to like, remember? <laughs> no, I said tall black guy tall going, black to going to gas station. gas <laughs> station. Like, look they how must... someone is, <laughs> look how someone know. is remembering people. But at least that helps him. That's him. <laughs> that helped him, yeah, of course. But look now. I don't places. I don't know names, so I write like a description. I write, like, okay, a description. so if you meet if you meet someone in front right. of, let's say, I don't know, you meet someone in front of a dumpster, you say, "Oh, um, short white dude from dumpster behind the door." Is is that what you guys say? Oh my god! <laughs> Since you remember places. <laughs> it depends on like if I'm like actually gonna ever talk to that person again. What you're describing is like someone dumpster diving. I don't think I'm gonna to try to have okay, a so, conversation with them. So like, what if I it's at the party, like there. house party? Oh, you remember them? I'll be like, what? You have to give me a description. I don't know, give short, description. European, Asian, from. I'll say Euro Asian. Yeah, let's say Gyarado. a girl. So Euro Asian guy, I'm saying five, five maybe, from party. Damn. Named, uh, named uh, Tom. Tom. That was Tom. His name is, is that Tom. What you did? He said Tom. Tom. <laughs> Tom. So how do you, how do you discover North Park? I discovered North Park because obviously I played American football back home in Ireland, yeah, but I went from playing rugby to American football, but I've only been playing the sport mm. for two years, man. But anyways, yeah, I was just standing out because like, obviously I want to experience more American football in America, right, to get myself better and all. So I just started sending out emails and surprisingly, I started getting like some responses and all, do you know what I mean? I started getting some responses and all. Then afterwards, yeah, I was like, oh, North Park, obviously the coach reached out to me and he seen my 
highlight tape and he's impressed and he said oh for someone that's been playing for 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 almost for a year like that was back at the time he said he was really impressed and would like to would like for me to go to the team and since then i was like you know what i'll go to north park not even gonna lie even though kevin rides the bench i saw his highlight and it was actually good i don't know why they don't play more like it was actually my loki is not even joking i this. appreciate that man obviously i just feel like I know, obviously, you know, me being the bench at times, don't get me wrong. Sometimes I'm like, bro. Sometimes. Damn. Most of the time, yeah, I'm on the bench, yeah. Thanks for correcting me, yeah. Have you played? Well, we actually have played. I yeah, he has played. I've played, yeah. But yeah. it's a thing where, like, yeah, it's a thing where, like, sometimes I'm like, bro, like, I can play. Like, just give me a chance. Do you know what I mean? I understand because I'm inexperienced. I still have a lot of work to do, yeah. But I guarantee if yeah. I did something, man, I'll probably make some plays. I feel like in order to be like an athlete, you can't be on the bench. You have to at least get like some minutes in, so then you know how to have like chemistry with your team and like actually figure out what you're doing nah, good the and what you're better at. Because you mean like a real I agree. experience. And the truth is, um, talking about Kevin particularly, like he need, he doesn't have a lot of experience, but you can see he has from from his varsity um, JV games, he has a, um IQ on the pitch. And he's strong, which is what he needs for his position. No, it is. It is soccer. On the Talk field. He has some IQ on the field. So, <laughs> he's... Because <laughs> if you're saying, head like, head okay, head. if you're an athlete that you don't get minutes, how about those people in the NBA and the NFL that, you know, the bench warmers, they are just riding the bench all year long. They just get their money. I feel like basketball is kind of different, though. We say everyone gets game in the basketball, like even yeah, a minute yeah. or something. But also, in football, it's more like you have to memorize, like, strike basketball. Since, like, it's just, you literally just have to get, if you know how to shoot or know how to dribble and pass, you're good. Football, you need, like, strategy, like. Memorize the plays. You have to memorize, like, so many plays. Memorize so many plays. Know what gap you're in, this and yeah. that. I don't get me wrong. I'm starting to get better. I know my plays. You know what I mean? It's all about me getting on the field. Yeah, you know for I mean? sure. But so do you think they are like NFL? Yeah. Do you think NFL players are like way more complicated than basketball players? Uh, yeah, 100%. But I mean, and I feel like it's more dangerous too. Yeah, hundred percent. You see what's way more dangerous. Football's like, bro. Football, you have to study. I'm not saying basketball. You don't have to study. You have to watch film. But football, like, you have to watch film, study your opponents, the people that you're, you're going up against, young man. And obviously, football is dangerous. Like it's a dangerous yeah. sport. Like can you can hurt you. yourself and it'll mess you up mentally. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know. A few players have died. Like, yeah. really dumb, man. Like, did you see last year when was it like what was oh. a football game where the guy just got? Oh, from, he's from the Bills. Oh, yeah, I saw yeah. That. Did you see that? He like was passed out for like. Yeah, he went. He yeah, went. Yeah, yeah. Passed out, man. A heart attack or something like that. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that was crazy. Yeah, that, that was just madness, man. Bro, I won't lie to you, bro. I, I I've tried to watch football, but. I understand the sport, honestly. I feel like it takes oh, it takes time for people to understand. Even with me, man, it took me so many times to understand. Even when I first played in Ireland, yeah, boy, did not know what I was doing, man. If I'm being honest with you, I was running around like a <laughs> lunatic, man. Like, what do you mean? You don't understand? Like, he probably doesn't. He means like doesn't understand. Like, yeah, touchdown, six points. Yeah, oh, yeah. That, oh, yeah, that's yeah. He probably understands that part, but he doesn't understand what they're doing in the situation, oh. like defense wise, what they're yeah. doing. Yeah, and that. so I'm in. <laughs> and Madden, and I do the same like plays every time. All I do yeah, is I, the think, like, Mary. I understand like <laughs> so, the basic yeah. rules. Uh, the more complicated ones, like yeah, now, even the plays. I don't, I don't know one NFL play. I've tried to st- I've tried to like understand some plays like from watching. Yeah, that, that. Doesn't make sense to me now. Hey, at least I watch uh, Destroying. I don't know if you know him, the YouTuber. Yeah, I watch it one v one. Goes to like differences and like hundred people come out defense, offense, just one v one. Just one v one. Yeah, yeah. We're talking about that. Let's say, well, I know we yeah, I already asked this before, but if your life depended on it and you had to guard someone in the NFL one v one, a wide receiver. Yeah, say who would you who would you pick? Man, obviously he's probably one of the best wide receivers ever. But ever since uh, his injury, he hasn't been the same, and obviously he's been in true controversy and all. 
I'd probably go for Antonio Brown. But even though he'll cook me, yeah, but it's worth the try, man. I'm not going for Tariq Hill, man. Fella's too fast, man. He's no, too fast, man. He beat me, man. What was the question? Uh, which red was in if your life depend on it, which wide receiver would you go one on one against? Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, Juju Smith Schuster, <laughs> yeah, bro, yeah, he'll go for okay, Juju Smith Schuster. <laughs> I lose, I lose when you, when you go up there, you tell Papa God, I, I died because of Antonio Brown, <laughs> that's I died because of Juju. Oh, man, wait, no, I don't know, wait, I don't know. Any, Wait, anybody, a wide receiver. Those are people who play offense. Yeah, wide, or running back. No, a wide receiver. A running wide back? Receiver. No, I said running back too. Adrian Peterson. Adrian Don't Peterson, that running is, back. But I'll take it. Wait, Adrian Peterson. Who's the guy from the Vikings? Um, Justin Jefferson. Who, like, beat him? No, who beat his son. Was it Adrian... Adrian Pearson, yeah, I've heard yeah. that he'd be a son, yeah, but he's a running back. Yeah, that's how I saw a running back. Man, yeah. that's crazy. Right, you're, you're, so you'd put, so you'd go, up, running back, yeah, yeah. so you'd go up against a future Hall of Famer. I mean, he yeah. said he would try his luck, and obviously his life depends on it, so he already knows he's gonna get. I like the time on he's gonna kick the bucket. Old, so what does, <laughs> bro? That. So, he's, uh, <laughs> hey, you, you need, that, right? you need to. Oh, you need to up the calories man. then. Do you know old man? Up the calories. You hear it first and open the ball too, so yeah. I take him. Have you watched his videos, man? His no, highlights. He is, he is good. Yeah, he's no. good, man. Future Hall of Famer, man. He is so He's a future Hall of Famer. So obviously yeah. you know Kev, you're 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 from Congo. You have some African origins. Uh, I know you have of you course. had some interesting takes about, you know, American culture. The first time you came to school. Yeah. I don't know if you can. <laughs> I don't know about your accent. <laughs> go ahead. Go on. Go no, on. Let, go, let, on let, go on. Go on. Mo. Mo. Let, bro. So what? Says who? Okay. Let, let, let's just say. Okay. Go. Let Kevin tell us what he thinks about the American culture. Compared to uh, how things are done in Ireland, because I already know his opinion, but let, let, let him tell us. American culture are way different to the Irish culture. Obviously, I feel like people here can be a bit sensitive to that man. Yeah, for sure. And obviously, don't get me wrong. I know this country has been through so much shit. Obviously, but people can be here can be so sensitive. Sometimes I need to watch what I say. Because in Ireland, we're very, we're very, like, we are, it's like, I wouldn't say dark humor, but we joke, like, we can, we can say some mean stuff, like, do you know what I mean? Because that's who we are. We like to joke a lot, do you know what I mean? And yeah. obviously, when I came here as well, I need to tone it down how I talk, because people don't understand me, man, do you know what I mean? Obviously, if I, like, back home, I'd be talking way, like, mad different, man. But sure, look, I remember, well, I think it was two weeks ago, yeah, me, David and I went to downtown. Obviously, David was doing his little business photo shoot and all. Obviously, David's photos, man, I'm telling you. Goated. I'm telling you. Pure goated, yeah. But anyways, yeah. So, we're at the train and obviously this lady comes in, yeah. Gets on. Oh, get, yeah, the Irish door. Yeah, remember. She gets on the train, yeah. And I, bear in mind, I was wearing like an Irish jumper. And she looks she looks in my jumper, right? And she gave like a little a little smile, yeah. And obviously, I was like, in my hand, like, why are you smiling at me like that? Yeah, but anyways, while she was scrolling on Facebook, she was sitting right in front of us. Yeah, <laughs> and while she was scrolling on Facebook, yeah, I was I saw some uh, what's it called? I saw some Irish stuff. Yeah, I was like, what? There's no way. So I tapped on the shoulder. I was like, sorry, excuse me, you are Irish? I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm Irish. Are you from Ireland as well? I was like, yeah, I'm from Ireland. She's like, oh, what part of Ireland? I was like, I'm from Dublin. Where are you from? She was like, I'm from County Mead. I was like, oh, no way. And she was like, yeah. Then we're just having a mad conversation man. i was a good crack man it was like it just happened out of nowhere man she was like she started saying oh i like your accent man i was like oh i appreciate that man do you know what i mean then i asked her why she was here because obviously she's working in a restaurant yeah then apparently a lot of irish people go to america and mainly in chicago just to work in restaurants just for experience was but man it was actually a, it was actually great it actually made me day 
But don't get me wrong, go to downtown and see David obviously doing his thing. Obviously, it was good, you know what I mean? Obviously, want to see me, me, me brother shine. But obviously, me and another Irish person, like, bro, this is out. It's a small world we live in, man. So I was surprised when I seen yeah, that, you know what I mean? Sure. It was crazy. It's always good when you meet people crazy. from back home, like, you can kick it, you know, catch up a little bit. Yeah. You can relate more to them. Yeah, because, man, that- Yeah. Since you're living around a lot of people who are very different from you. They don't understand me, do you know what I mean? You know, I cut that before. <laughs> oh, here we go again with that cut that stuff, man. Uh, uh, quick question. What's like the diversity like in Ireland? Is there like a lot of people of color? Or oh, man. White? There's a lot of people in co- of color, 100%. Oh, loads, loads. But I say back then when I moved to Ireland, man, you would not still barely any black people, Asian people. You would not see a lot. But back then, obviously, well, I even get those comments a lot when people say, oh, you have an accent. Where are you from? Oh, I'm from Dublin. They're like, what? You're from Dublin? And there's black people in Dublin? Sometimes when, the first when, I said you. <laughs> when I hear that question, that pisses me off. I'm like, so you're telling me flipping Ireland's just a full of... Don't get me wrong. They probably haven't heard... Like, I understand where they're coming from, but bro, this is this world, bro, I'm telling you, there's black people everywhere, man. There's black people everywhere. But yeah, but the diversity now, there's, it's, especially in Dublin, it's so diverse, man. It's so diverse. There's a lot of black people, Asians, Middle Eastern, there's Brazilians, Filipinos, man. There's loads, man. Especially in the city, in Dublin city, the city center, there's loads of people, man. 100%. But compared to what it was, like, Obviously, I'm an old head. 26 years ago, yeah, there was barely, you will not see. And obviously, I felt, I feel like it's, it's calmed down now, as in like race, as in like racism back then was bad. It was bad. Like, bro, you'd walk down, man, I'm telling you, you'd get called the N word, this and that. But now, like, they look at you to be like, all right, what's the story? You're well, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Compared to what it was back then. But yeah, man, it's proper diverse, man, 100%. Even the Irish team, the Irish uh, football team is becoming okay. mad though worse. Because the last time we had a black player, man, there was this was recent. This was back in two thousand and two, but before two thousand and two, there was a lot less. That like, was recent. Now, yeah, we weren't even born. We just weren't even born, but we had a black player back in the early eighties. Yeah, eighties going into the nineties. Then the last time they had a black player was in two thousand and two. Well, see, that was way before you guys were born. Then since then, I think it was like. Two, three years ago, that was that's when we started having like more black players. I'm like, yeah, it's about time, man. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's about time, bro. Another question. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. One question. Another question I have for you is, if someone was to go to Ireland right now, what would your recommendations on things or things to try? Oh my like, god. Oh, definitely. That's a good question. Obviously, if someone not someone out is going to Ireland and ask me where the place I go, obviously, like, if I was you, I go to places like Temple Bar. I'll see it's in the Temple Bar, it's an area, it's a bar of course, yeah. But that area is full of tourists, man. Tourist people go there, man. There's also uh the museum, the Irish Museum, a lot of people go there. Phoenix Park as well. Uh that's where like that's where the zoo is, close to the zoo. Uh there's another place in Ireland. The Guinness Storehouse and mm-hmm. yeah. Guinness. The Guinness yeah, obviously a lot of people go there. Loads of places. People can go to Cork. All over Ireland, it's a good place. Like, you know what I mean? So if anyone that's listening to podcast wants to go to Ireland, you can let me know. I'll definitely hook you up. Like, you know what I mean? Man, Kevin is the plug for this one. Hey, reach out to him. The plug, of course, man. Yes, sir. We'll put the Snapchat premium in the description and down below. Just subscribe. Yes, and <laughs> some interesting content for you <laughs> Snapchat premium. I for that snaps, yeah. You can tell they they have that premium with that black badge right beside their name. I'm like, eh, hey, do you? But I personally will not spend it. You can see it? Yeah, man, you can see it, man. Dude, now I want to know who it's premium. Damn. Just to clone them. Because that's that is kind of depressing. Wait, how do you well, see I that? could be wrong, but like, I feel like when you click into the go into the name or something like that, I'll, go on, I'll, go, I'll show you. Cause you can actually see that it's really funny. Cause that's kind of yeah. See, look, look at that. What the heck? A black star, yeah, man. Yeah. Obviously not hanging. I'm just personally wouldn't. 
No, I mean, I don't need I mean, you should tell your bro to get Snapchat Premium so that you can start oh, when you stop Mr. Randy, dropping some snipers. Fake ass American accent, man. Love the brother to death. That's me, brother, just in case anyone's wondering who Randy is, man. But, mate, fella, I'm telling you, man. I was talking to him today. He's, bro, he's entertaining, man. Love the fella. We both, obviously, that's me, brother, man. Blood, blood, buff. He's something else, man. Fella thinks he's American just because we went to America in 2018. All of a sudden, the fella starts talking about America. Like, oh man, we shouldn't. Bear, bear in mind, yeah, he had an Irish accent before, but when he came home, he's like, so y'all, you know what I'm saying? Shit, check it out. You know, yeah, I'm from the hood, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. From what? Yeah, what what hood shit, is it from? You know what, Fuck ass. what exactly? What hood is he from, man? Like, what hood, man? Tell me, man. Relax, man. Do you know what I mean? The fella start listening. Oh, he's a big old school fan. The fella would listen to Tupac. Nas, Biggie, all that stuff, man. You, I bet you, Auntie, you tell him to listen to all freaking an NBA young boy now. He'd be like, man, cut that shit out, man. I don't want to listen to that joy shit. Obviously, <laughs> NBA young boy is obviously love listening to NBA young boy, yeah. But that's hey, his response. Of course. That. of course, man. Of course. Fella, you sent me. He's a definite propaganda, man. You sent me a song earlier and you were like, hey, look at your brother. At first, at first, I thought that was David. But when I listened to it, obviously that was not David's voice. When he said, "Look at your cutter, bro," oh, no. then I understood. I understood My- who was it? Not this place. No, no. Someone should get me a record deal for real because I'll tell you this. Yeah, I'll just, deal, someone- bro. If you get a record deal, I'll flip it. I'll disown him, man. He is not my brother, man. I'm, I love the fella to death. Why disown him? Or actually, hey, go Randy. to the Irish embassy and tell him to prove that. Remove the last his last name because he is not a male man. He's not embarrassing me or me, man. Not a chance. You said a record deal. Yeah, you should get a record you deal, bro. To like Capitol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I was listening to it while driving, and I looked in my rear view and I saw a light, and it wasn't twelve. It was Jesus because the pain in my ears. It was so magical, bro. Ah, will you go away, man? Will you stop, man? The, it was magical. Will you stop, man? Will you, man? It was magical, bro. Magical. I saw will Jesus you... in the Get away with that, will you, man? The... Oh, man, I'm telling you, I man. saw the light. Bella was feeling himself. <laughs> like this. This was him. He does this little thing, yeah? He, he, do, he does the thing, all right, the lads, yeah? He does this thing, yeah? When he's feeling himself, yeah? Obviously, David did, yeah? But I've been around him for too long. He's like... <laughs> He's like, nah, he's bad, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shit, I get the girls. Hey, all the all hood, love, all love, Wait, Randy. Randy. You know, Ireland, don't what? get me wrong. Ireland is a dangerous place, but it's not like freaking Chicago, man. Chicago is the hood hood. Hmm. You know I mean? so oh, yeah. I'm going to take him to 63rd to show him what a real hood is. You are not going there. <laughs> he, I believe Kevin will go down there. You won't go down there. I'll go there. You want to Randy, put money on yeah, it? not a chance, man. You want to put money on there? I will. In the day, not at night, but so. Uh, in the day? <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> we'll put money on there. I don't have a death. <laughs> I'm not trying to die. I'm not going to go at night. Oh, yeah. you're not dying. Nah. You know, you're full on. You have your tattoo on your shoulder. You know, you look dangerous. You have your ears and your earrings <laughs> and your busk. <laughs> you have my ears? <laughs> You, you say you have your ears. <laughs> like, what? You have your ears. Have ears too. Your, you have your ears and your earrings, <laughs> and you have your wife beer. So you're already straight. I feel like if you want to, if you want to uh, open up looking like that, yeah, obviously you get stuck because you got, like you said, you got a tattoo, you got ear pierced that obviously looks at you like, who is he? Who do you represent, John? Man, I represent myself and I represent God. So. That is right. You just go down to O Block or Tukerville. Hey, God got me. That's it. God will guide you. God, 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 God will guide him because, hey, it's not dangerous. He's going to guide me to my screen. Oh, man. Not a chance, man. Even people back home were like, oh, man, when you go to flipping Chicago, go to O, o Block, yeah, take a picture and all that. Take a look. Do like a tour guide, man. I was like, not in me. Bollocks will go there, man. Not a hope will go there, man. The stories <laughs> I've heard, man. Not a chance. Go this week. 
go this week. I'll get you. I'll get us a tour again. Oh, yeah. Tell me, tell me what you said about the tour guide. Uh, the tour guide. I'm not. Someone I'm not right part of this. Oh yeah, man. So, the I was down, just, listen, yeah, I was trying. To... <laughs> oh man, tell you, but bro, not a chance. But listen, yeah, I was on Facebook, right? I was scrolling, yeah, and I see like a screenshot of a message, yeah. It was some random fella. I don't know where he's from, but he was texting some rapper. I forgot the rapper's name, yeah. But anyways, he was saying, like, I can't remember how the message started. He was like, oh, hey, how you doing? I would like to go to All Black because me and my friend want to see what All Black is like. Well, sorry, what All Black is like. So we want to experience and see the place. We will pay money for protection and all that stuff. And the rapper goes, oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, would you, uh, you got cash up? And the fella goes, yeah, we do. Would you send 2K? Like 2K. And it goes 2K. 2K. So if we pay you 2K, yeah, that's what I'm saying. 2K, yeah. And fella goes, if we pay you 2K, will we get protection and all that stuff? And the rapper goes, yeah, we got you, brother. And I'm like, wow, that is mad. Imagine paying me. Don't get me wrong, like 2K, man. 2K just to go to old block, man. Man. 2K for a day. 2K for a day as well, man. It's for a day. Bro. That's like making like three months. That's what I'm saying. No, four a month. Five a year. Bro, two. Bro, two K is even small for for freaking O block. I don't like two K is a lot. But O block. For O block, man. Man. Bro, I, that I felt like I felt like that rapper was probably generous, man, because usually rappers would be like rappers would be like, I want more than two K, but that rapper was probably generous, man. Two K. Hey, it's crazy, man. So Hopefully I know you can't have that experience. Bro. I mean, it's true. Yeah, no, I was just saying, mm. like, yeah, I know it might be, <laughs> it must, it might be delusional, but I just said for the experience, let it, let's just do it. It's a rapper, so I guess you can afford it. I mean, they are broke rappers. I'm gonna call someone. I'm gonna call someone today and ask about it and about, see and I see get, what it's like. Speaking of Mike, huh? I, didn't hear I want to call some people and ask them what it's like to go to Old Block and how safe it would be. Oh. Know, and see if I could go sometime this week or next week. For sure, for sure. And I'll let you know what they say. Okay. And we'll uh, do the, you know what we'll do? We'll do the podcast in Old Block. Hey. Next week. In our bubble. I'm joking. It's coming Maybe. to 64th and 65th. In our bubble, it's coming to Not 63rd. <laughs> Nah, that'd be crazy. That'd be crazy. Go on the top of the roof with the pastor guy. Yeah, pastor. What's the pastor Brooks? Yeah, pastor Brooks. Shout out, pastor Brooks. Oh man, that was, bro. That that day was cold, man. Bro, you you should say what happened that. Day. <laughs> oh, bro, the streets are cold, aren't they, Oscar? The streets are cold. Pastor Corey Brooks. Yeah, shout out to the fella. Yeah, but anyway, he was just talking about the life, his life. And all experience in old block and all, man. I kept looking back at Oscar. Oscar was freezing, but Oscar, <laughs> pro- Oscar was mad paranoid. Boys, yeah, he was looking around, man. I was like, this fella is. Crazy. Oscar would be like me. Oh man, I was trying to listen to the fella, but all I kept looking back is Oscar looking around. Fella was shivering, man. He was cold, man. Bro, I'm telling you, he was cold. Oh, don't get me wrong, I was cold as well, man. Nah, the, the, bro, you cannot even. Yeah. I mean, you already saw it on my face. I was cold, no jacket, <laughs> because cold. my employer went and did Man's something. I, d- <laughs> I drove the wrong class and went there. Oh, yeah. Bro. He drove the wrong class to Old Black? Yeah, he drove the wrong class yeah. to Old Black. You know yeah. how scared they were a bit? They should be? But, bro. They'd be like, where I, are you taking? They'd be like, where are you bro, taking the peop- us? <laughs> the people there should be scared because North Park is in the building. <laughs> So obviously, I have a camp. I had a campus job where we drive students for field trips, um, for, uh, to their field trips with school vans, you know, even diesel type thing. So I'm out here. The my 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 boss uh did something, and you know, I I had the wrong students in my van, and she just told me to kick it and send me the ID. So I just took them to Rasid and Sixty Third, my Toyota King driver. On the roof opposite the church with the man living in a tent who shot in the bucket. For, for a year, Crazy. didn't he? Yeah, yeah bro. for a year, I think, yeah. <laughs> Crazy, bro. Crazy. 
Uh, he's he, he's right? doing his thing. You look up Pastor Bill, you see what I'm talking about. Man, you should, don't have to just to write 100%. You should take your family there sometime. Well, obviously, you have, you have siblings, sure. right? My mouth kill me. My mouth be like, so you want, so you bring me to Chicago just for me to get killed. You're crazy. Oh, you bring Randy. <laughs> Randy, yeah. Let's oh, bring Randy, though, but bring Randy. Just leave him. Randy will. So now I'll talk to him. Hey y'all. Hey. I'm f- I'm in this thing, bro. Can't talk to me. Oh man. Do it. Bear in mind, oh, like, God. Shit, you are, man. <laughs> Guys, yeah. <laughs> my, <laughs> this is my brother we're talking about, yeah. This is my brother we're talking about. I love the fella to death. Don't think I hate the fella. I love him, man. But he's the type of guy, yeah. If you see him, you just have to laugh, man. I know. He's the type of guy when you see him, you just have to laugh. He's either going to say some stupid or... I don't know, bro. He's just that type of guy. But I love the kid to death, man. But sometimes, man, he be in his own world. Sometimes you just want to... Oh, man. Tell you, man. He's coming over in like you know almost saying? almost a week, man. Almost a week he'll be here, man. Yeah. He's a character, man. Fellow the mad as bad. He's gonna start putting out posting his mixtape. I'm from the hood. <laughs> I don't know when that from You know who's more from the hood? I say Lil Mabu is more from the hood than Randy. Lil hey. Mabu who went to a private school is more <laughs> more of a hood than Randy. More of a... Randy is not experiencing any hood funny hood shit. You know what I mean? I said, I'm from the hood. Remember, the this, this was like, I'm from the hood. <laughs> one time, one time. Yeah, hey. I'm from the hood. Hey. You know what I'm saying? I'm hey. like, bro, what? I'm from. <laughs> I'm like, you tell him, man. What are you saying, man? Bro, we flipping live in Dublin, man. You have not experienced any poor thing, man, in your life, man. Bro, who am <laughs> Why the guys ups, bro? I went. <laughs> What's the oh, oh, you, man? man. Ups. <laughs> bro, I like, invisible ups. Go, like, with invisible ups, <laughs> 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 you, want, you want to know where uh, Randy? This is Randy. Oh, will you get away, man? That is guys, <laughs> man. This is Randy. Oh hey. my gosh! Okay, you got to you, you got to to, to share. The sound is not going to come. No, nah, I know, but it, it, oh, it doesn't matter about the sound. Oh my gosh, boys! The sound doesn't matter. Ready? I'm sharing this. I'm, I'm from the hood, man. Yeah, ready? <laughs> this is too funny. Uh let's do this. Ready, Oscar? Can you see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is okay. Bye. Okay, okay, son. Don't do it, daddy. I'll be home late. Yeah. It's my birthday. I'll see you later. Bye. Oh, 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 I took a trip to the hood so I could make it out. Just so you can say I got you handed down. Randy yeah. put 90s music, man. Yeah. Randy put some. Randy put some Tupac. Oh my gosh, man. What do you feel like he's turning to? Oh man. Did you see it? Oh, that's bro. Randy. That's Randy that's from that. Max, man. The next thing you're gonna see uh Dove emoji in his bio on IG with names. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm the Dove emoji. Dude, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> and I'm like, jeez. Nah man. What's that even yeah, stand bro. for? I don't even know what What's like, that stand for? People died. Oh, long live. The Dove oh. emoji. Oh long live, yeah. yeah. Hello, yeah. That's that. That's the next stage man, after you make it. Man, man. Oh, like, if he do, if he put, if he does that, I slap his mouth, man. Like man, mate, <laughs> you don't know anyone that passed me on. Relax, man. You're taking this flipping. I'm from the whole nineties boy thing too far, man. And yeah. um, basically, he loves New York. That's his favorite state, New York. That's every like international person's favorite state. After. He only likes it because his favorite rapper lives there. <laughs> Nas. Do not know I made you listen to. It. Then fellow was disappointed that you hated this. There's something that I, there's something that I understood when it comes to Americans and Europeans in general, like the way they compare stuff, like this, they always bash American people for not using the metric system, like they try and come. Like, that really this, happened to me when I was in Sweden. Yeah. In Sweden, in Sweden, people were like, "You don't even know the metric system; it's so much easier." And I was like, "Bro, 
<laughs> I'll be I don't even know life. the American <laughs> You can't even you can't even fool me. I don't even know the American system. I don't know the metrics or the American law. That's crazy. That. Yeah. I I'm Chat bro. GPT, yeah. It's not even <laughs> Chat use Chat GPT. <laughs> hey, how many inches in a foot? Chat GTP. How many inches oh, in a foot? Oh my gosh, man! Chat GPT is a helper, man. You don't know. He's got you, bro. you don't know how many inches are in a foot. Twelve. Okay. Uh, like, okay. Ah, that, there you go. Yeah, if you don't know, if you didn't know that, uh, uh, yeah, call your dad or something. Yeah. And obviously, I'm pretty you know, sure, like. If you go to a European country, we don't, we like, we do de- degrees uh, like Celsius. We don't do Fahrenheit. Do you know that I mean? can kind yeah. of like, uh, Fahrenheit, yeah. Well, obviously, I'm getting used to Fahrenheit. So Fahrenheit's I know. not that hard, though. It's not, no, it's not hard. At first, I'm it's like, literally, does it feel warm? It's probably like 60. Of course. Do you know what I mean? Does it feel a little hot? It's probably 70 to 80. And does it feel a little hot? It's 100. Right. That, exactly. Yeah, Fahrenheit. It's not hard. Well, which means it sounds like it's freezing. Is that? Literally. But I feel like as well, the other compar- comparison between Americans, yeah, I mean, in Ireland, I feel like you guys speak proper English. But, like, you know yourself, like, think about it. That's him. He always be like, oh, it's Oscar and David. Or Oscar and David, David. yeah. Yeah, grammar and shite. But I feel like people understand you more than me. That man. I mean, that, that's, that's just, yeah, that all happen. I mean, outside, yeah. people understand probably Kevin Bell than tripping um no marble over there. But I obviously when he that's relative. I didn't understand the thing he was saying. I was like I was like I was online like, I was speechless man. I was like bro obviously I was like sheesh this guy got potential man but I was like bro what is he saying man? You have an you have an upcoming talent in your family so you should be proud. Relax, man. Upcoming talent. Oh, man. Definitely, man. Upcoming talent, man. My man, my man will disown him as well, man. My man be like, man, mate, shave your hair. You're not from the court. Mate. His hair is straight. I swear his hair is straight. His hair is straight, but it's like curls, but no, nowhere near curls. Even my man doesn't like... Uh, I would tell him to shave. If he really wanted to get right, I'd say shave his head and then regrow your hair and then like actually use good products. Oh, stop, man. And then he would yeah. probably be able to get his stuff. Oh, 100%. And guys, don't take more bashing on me, brother, man. I am. Maybe David, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've, of course not. I've known the fella, since, <laughs> oh, I've known no. the fella since, since he was born, man. Trust me. Yeah. Everything I'm saying is the truth, man. Nothing but the truth, but I love the kid. I know I said this a hundred times, but I do love the kid, but bro... Should you not you, man? You're flipping strangle, you dance on your head, man. You feel yeah. But anyways, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Don't mind them, man. Don't mind. That's what I'm saying, man. Do you know what I mean? They're hey. flipping comparison. Or we, he doesn't understand what I mean by dance on your head, man. But it's, oh, it's gonna, oh, it's that's going to do for that evil something. He don't feel like relax, man. Man, sit down right now, man. Look at this fella, man. <laughs> oh my gosh, you wait with that. Uh, Better goes, 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 oh, you have an upcoming artist in the house, man. Not a chance, man. <laughs> Not a chance, man. Oh, man, I oh, don't want him to embarrass himself, man. Like, I just, oh, hey, future is yeah. bright. Artist, athlete, gotta get that 1v1 Definitely. against nah. Dave. You know, uh, anyone out there who want to play Dave 1v1, if you're in Chicago, hit the boy up. Yeah, yeah cook, 1v1. Hopefully. Don't have to do any layers. Like, you can't flash threes all over your face. There'll be an upcoming 1v1 one one coming soon between David and Randy. We're going to make it a YouTube video? Joanna. Shall we? We could? Yeah. You're yeah. not making a YouTube video. Don't ask me. The okay. 1v1. Don't ask me. You I'll record it. I'll record it, man. If you, you lose, mind. that's on you. So if you that's care, don't train. It's you who will be embarrassed. Okay. So the goal, Randy's goal okay. is he's going to make sure David doesn't score. He's going to score zero points. I'm not letting that happen because that's never happened to me. No one has made me score zero points. So, so you're, you're going to be Troy Hard. Yeah. yeah I'm, I'm going to score one point. You've never made me score zero points. That's okay. Who, that's what, did I say something? <laughs> did I say something? Why are you getting activated? Well, at least he knows who's who on the court. It's bad. You can't try me now. Ah, it's me now. Obviously. The try kid from Cameroon. <laughs> what? Try me, I say. Yeah, you try can you can talk. You can talk. There's no video. Oh, so but yeah. just me on your jacket, man. 
Foot trans is what? I was touching my cord. I was going right. like this. I was right. going like this. Well, who's better between you, yeah? <laughs> who's better between you boys? Who's better between you boys, eh? Freaking uh, Oscar or David? Who's better? Basketball was. Who's buffer, me or Kevin? <laughs> we asking that question. Basketball was. Basketball was. Who's better? Between you guys. Basketball was. I feel like David knows the game more, but, you know, I know the what? game too. So, I feel like. Mm. He didn't answer me I questions. Said David. I said, when you when you sidestep around a question, you know the answer. Me. Oh yeah. He oh. said we both know the game. That's not the question. The question is who's better? As in one v one, like one v one. If I wanted to see you guys, I, I want to know who'd win. Who'd win? I, he's better, but he will not beat me because he's not conditioned. Look at my size. I'm better conditioned than him. And that's a fact yeah, because the last yeah. time we played, you literally had to go sit to catch a breath, bro. You're not conditioned. That's why you can't oh, play me. Boys. But the thing Oscar does is like this: he holds on, to you, oh, yeah. or goes nah. boom, boom. Now I really, yeah, that's them. That's, you know that's, true. that's not true. That's not how I play. I shoot mid ranges. I lay up. I don't. I'm, I don't have a good how arc on my I shoot mid ranges, and I lay up. I don't, I don't, I don't do layups like that. I, I shoot on the contact, but that's not the only way I shoot. Okay. So yeah, you want to use that as an excuse. But that's not the only way I lay up. I don't lose, do use contact to lay up. Don't use that as an excuse. Just say uh, we'll you and me. We'll you you can't back. stand me. We'll play with you when we come yeah, back. Yeah, we'll play. I'm getting oh, better. I'm getting better. We'll play. I'm getting better. We'll play. Oh, yeah, Oscar, yeah. And we'll Speaking film, of and we'll yeah, see. I got, I got, I got I got Helson. I got Helson, yeah, so you can obviously stay over. Hey, appreciate it, bro. Got you, hey, bro. So that I'll come right do another one. We'll run another podcast. I know the boy. Obviously, if you don't know yet, I was saying previous episodes are not being North Park anymore. So No more. Yeah, this I will be doing this thing so far. Yeah, no more North Park for me. I had to shift my energy. To Maryland. To, yeah, to the East Coast. But, shout out to DMV. Is, shout out to DMV. It's been episode 10. Reach out if you want to come on the podcast. Like, Part. subscribe. Tell us what you think. If yes, you're sir. listening on an audio platform, give us a rating. That's a good way to support us. And this sure is our first YouTube messages. video too. So everybody like it up, share it, share it. Obviously, hey, hey, hey. don't forget clap, to follow. Clap, clap for in our bubble. It's socials. Yeah. Obviously, don't forget to follow in our bubble social as well on Instagram. I think this might be the best appreciate, one. Appreciate, appreciate. Let's follow. Of might course. be one of the best episodes. Of course, of course, hundred percent. More to come, lads. More. We might say that course. the next what? episode too. We might say that <laughs> every episode is the <laughs> best. Episode. No matter. Every episode the is the first best. episode, episode is the episode. best. Episode four. This is my yeah, favorite yet. Of course. Yeah. Of course. We'll keep you updated, I mean, guys. We'll keep you updated with the one v one where Randy and David. Randy might do his little stupid from the hood song. Not like, ah, as nah, this, nah, this vibe, man. I'm from the hood. You know what I'm saying? Check it out. Cheer. Yeah. All that rubbish stuff, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm <laughs> I'm from the... <laughs> uh, Okay, uh, okay. <laughs> That's a wrap. Yeah, that's, That's a wrap. wrap. See you guys later. Yeah. See you later. Thanks for having me. Go on. Stay blessed. Of course. Go on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.